Well, well ahoy there, there cruisers. cruisers. We're back on Viking Cruises and another cruise adventure and we are gonna take you along with us. We are so excited to be on this, a luxury cruise line. We've got some amazing things coming up, including how this was cheaper than our MSC cruise. We're gonna have amazing food, amazing adventures, and we are so excited. It's gonna be a relaxation, Viking alicious cruise. We're going round to the UK for scenic cruising and we do have two port stops as well. So excited. So let's take it away. Welcome to Portsmouth, where our seven night cruise on the Viking Venus departs. So we've just sanitized our hands and now we're going to do the temperature check and uh, a health questionnaire as well. Let's go. So we've just given proof of our vaccination and our insurance and now we're going to check in. Let's go. So we are all checked in, we have our cruise card and we also have our contact tracing dongle. We have to keep this on us at all times on the ship. You don't have to wear it around your neck, you can just pop it in your pocket. And this is for contact tracing on the ship. Oh, it's fancy. And it, if it clashes with your outfit, you can put it in your pocket. Yeah, it does feel like one of those like help I need assistance things. So right, should we go? Let's go, we've got to go through security and then board the ship. So we're all checked in now, we're all through security and now we're on the bus to the ship. But it's literally just there. It's like the shortest bus journey ever. So we've got to board the ship first, then go straight to a safety demonstration, and then go straight to our cabin to take our COVID test. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so, so excited on the red carpet, ready to get on the ship. This is amazing. Right, guys, this is it. Let's go up the stairs. I hate these stairs. They're really weird because they're like- a I'm half, doing them backwards. They're like a half step. They're like not quite a slope, but not, Steps. Are you excited? Yay. Yay! I'm so excited. David, how pretty is this ship? You've got the feels. I've the got cruise, the chills. The cruise feels. I've got chills. We're filming on our phone, guys. We'll get our yeah. main camera out in a bit. Just because we have all our equipment and our bags. So. Going to the muster drill. So what we're doing now is we're heading to the muster drill and they're doing the muster drill in small groups as soon as you board. How good is that? Yeah, it's good. So it, it makes sure, it means that everybody has been to the muster drill. Um, but you're not in a massive group. Oh my god, the ship is absolutely spectacular. I'm gonna wean myself, I'm so excited. The small group muster drill was really quick and easy. Big thumbs up. <gasps> David, we're in our cabin. <gasps> Yay! I can take my mask off now. Oh. oh my gosh. We're gonna show you around in a bit. This here's is... a quick, here's a quick treat. No, a that's quick all you're preview. seeing. Oh my god, it's huge! It's massive! It's amazing. This is awesome. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's so fancy, even like all the door handles have like got a little leather cover on. But first, we need to watch the safety drill and we need to yes. take our COVID test. So, um, yeah, so straight after the muster, we now have to watch the safety drill on the video and we have to watch the entire drill and then click a button at the end to say that we've watched it so they know that we've watched it. And then we've got to do a saliva test, which is something a little bit unusual I've never done before. So we'll see what it goes like. Let's do it. Yeah, I really liked how it was really small groups and they just constantly did the safety demonstration. Um, I think other cruise lines should look at doing that. Even if you've got a thousand, two thousand, three thousand people, I think it's better that way. Just constantly doing it. And thank you so much for traveling with Viking. Oh, you're welcome. I hope you enjoy this small, elegant ship. Okay, so we've watched the safety demonstration and now we've got to do our saliva test. Now, this is not something you see usually on a cruise. It feels like, morning, sir, your morning test. Your medication. <laughs> your medication. What's amazing is that there's no invasive PCR test. No. So it's just a, basically a saliva test. So all you do is spit into a tube. I'm gonna, I feel like I'm going to get go I'm everywhere. Get a proper close up, David, so people can see all you spit in there. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to get up to that first blue line oh my god that's a lot it's a lot right but i'd rather do this than a pc uh, one up the nose seal it up put it back in the plastic bag done and then just leave that there you're done ben's turn fingers crossed for negative result yeah fingers crossed but how easy is that compared to like the dread of the up the nose test and that happens every single day in the morning really easy and quick yeah perfect and so safe well done viking so good so you've got a face mask as well so we've got 10 face masks each so that's 20 face masks full ultrasonic face masks treat yourself 
and we have all of the information about contact tracing, temperature checks are going to be taken uh, daily, social distancing in all public areas so all of the places are apart, are apart like uh, tables and things like that. And then around the ship you've got extra things as well. Inside the ship while walking about, masks on, sit down and drinking and eating, no masks needed. Outdoors, no masks either. It's lovely. Right. That's it, nice and clean. Well done. Oh, and two big hand, 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 hand sanitizers. And two big hand sanitizers, which is awesome. Thank you, my king. The cabin's beautiful. So now we're going to show you around the cabin, shall we? Let's, Let's have a quick look before we make a mess this time. Yeah. Let's have a quick look around. Let's do it. Oh, so now we're all settled into our cabin. We're going to have a little explore. I'm going to show you around with us as well. So we're in a penthouse veranda cabin. Let's have a look. So we'll start with the wardrobe area. But yeah, how fancy schmancy is it? You've got a light that turns on when you open the door. Lots of hanging space. Lots of drawers as well. You've got three gigantic drawers down there. Nice big wardrobe. Beautiful. Just next to it, we've got a um, shelf and an espresso machine with coffee pods as well, all included. And in here, we have a safe. And yeah, that's a really big safe. You'll get a laptop in there. And then again, lots more storage. So three big, um, big drawers. There's a little brush here. I think it's for your suits, isn't it? It's not for your armpits. Yeah, a nice big long mirror. And then the bathroom's here, but we're gonna come back to that at the end. So let's have a look around the rest of the cabin. This is a bigger cabin as well. Um, so you've got lots of space, huge, gigantic king size bed. Do you think it's a king, Ben? Absolutely. And I love the pillows as well. Should we do the bed test? Do the bed test. We haven't done this yet. Ugh. Oh. Oh, this is really comfortable. Is it lovely? I'm really tired, so I could go to sleep right now. Love it. But I'm not going to, because we have the rest of the cabin to explore. And the ship to explore, I'm so excited. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, big TV here, and it's got on-demand movies and live TV and things on there. And then you've got, again, more storage. So just lots of drawers, lots of shelves. So much storage. So much storage, another drawer there. It's really nice. It feels really um, homely. It doesn't feel like a cruise cabin. And here at the bedside table, you've got more storage, you've got a shelf, a drawer, a little sort of extra... Writing table? Somebody called it a writing table, yeah. And also you've got two USB chargers. One of them is high power. You've got a US plug, a e European plug, and then you've got all your lights and your gadgets over here. There's loads, there's a reading light, mm -hmm. there's a lamp. You've got a really nice big desk area. And on our last Viking cruise, I spent a few days working here and it was really nice. Um, Wi-Fi's all included? Yeah, so your Wi-Fi's <gasps> oh, included. Oh, look at that, how glamorous. So that's for putting your face on, so glam, lovely. Beautiful. Telephone there, you've got um, power points all along the desk and a gigantic mirror as well. And with the penthouse veranda, you get a cheeky bottle of champagne. Yes, so everybody gets a little uh, welcome bottle. Oh, hello guys, here's hi, me hi, with hi. my little contraption. Look at this, right? It, this room is so big, I can lunge. Look, I can actually do lunges. It's amazing, I could do full on yoga. I could run a dance class in here with the rest of the, the passengers. We could do some line dancing. I think we'd all fit in here, wouldn't we? Look at this, look at this. I can do high kicks, I can do star jumps, I can do the whole business, I can get my dance on. Sorry. And back to the regular And back program. to the room. Um, yeah, really nice space, just like Ben said, look. How gorgeous is that? Loads of space. Got a lovely couch. Lovely couch area. Ugh. Love the art. Singapore, amazing place. Thank you, Viking, for being so thoughtful and putting our favourite place on the wall. Yeah, because we went to Singapore, it was amazing. Check out them vlogs if you haven't seen them. And there's another chair here so you can chill out and take your pick. If your board is facing that way, you can face that way. Yeah, it's really nice, really big. It's just a huge cabin, isn't it? It's really big. An all-inclusive mini bar. It's all included. Alcohol, treats, snacks, chocolate. You can see my can of pops open there as well. I'll put it back in to move it. And it gets replenished daily. How amazing is that? Completely complimentary. And I love the tiny little Toblerones. That is cute. Right, should we go have a look at the, the balcony? Yes, the balcony. Take so, us out, David. Come round, let's go out. Oh my gosh, this is my favourite part. The balcony is huge. It's humongous. I don't know if you can get the scale of it. And like Ben's so far away from me. You've got a, a table and chairs. 
Babe. We can't even reach each other, and we've got long arms. You can like comfortably distance in here. So we've got a table and chairs. So excited to do breakfast out on the balcony and maybe some dinner. A nice big table and just a beautiful balcony so you can enjoy the stunning views of Portsmouth Port. Not so stunning, but I can't wait because we're going to be sailing soon. Right, bathroom. Let's go and look at the bathroom, yeah. Watch your step. Well, hello, welcome into the bathroom. Now, the boudoir. The boudoir. This bathroom is amazing. First of all, as you can see, it's gigantic. For a cruise bathroom, this is huge. There is so much space. Now, things you can't see is the floor is actually heated. So it's nice and toasty in here. So if you're like popping in here with your bare feet, you've got nice and toasty feet. And also the mirror is heated as well. It's actually really warm, I just warm to the touch, which means that uh, it never ever steams up. It's amazing. Again, lots and lots of storage. You've got drawers on either side. You've also got a large cupboard under here with a litter bin. Lots and lots of storage on both sides again for all your products. And these products come included. They are Freya products. Freya. And they're uh, very nice, really, really nice products. Smell lovely, um, really premium. And of course, a lovely sink, gigantic mirror and lots and lots of lights but the shower is incredible. So just look at the size of this. Shall I get in? It's so big. I mean, the usual cruise shower is probably like this, but this is like, it's practically a hall. It's amazing. Even a foot shelf. Yeah, even like a little foot Scrub shelf. your feet. So you can do your legs. So you've also got um, a laundry line there as well, uh, but don't forget there is a laundry room on board. So you do get free laundry included. We'll cover that later in the cruise, so stay tuned. Oh, even more storage. Yep, so even more storage down this side. And this is where the controls for the heated floor and the mirror are. So you can turn it off or you can turn it down if it is a little bit too warm for you. And there's also a razor outlet there as well. But an amazing bathroom, it's so lovely. And I still can't get over the fact this is a cruise ship. Like, I've never seen a bathroom like this, apart from like a top deluxe suite. I've never seen bathrooms like this on a cruise ship. And this bathroom is on every cabin on the ship as well. Really cool. We also had the opportunity to check out some other cabins, starting with a standard veranda suite. Spacious and bright and everything you need. The bathroom was identical to ours. Next up, a deluxe veranda suite. Basically the same cabin with some extras such as a coffee machine and earlier access to the stateroom. Next up we have a penthouse junior suite. This is one up from ours, a large suite with two TVs and large seating area with a curtain in the middle. The bathroom is also slightly larger with two sinks and a larger shower. Now the beautiful Explorer Suite. Wow, this place is massive with a lovely dining and living room. And an impressive balcony with some great views. It even has a walk-in wardrobe and a spacious bedroom. This leads on to a more impressive bathroom, complete with a bath and even a TV in the mirror. So let's take a quick look around the Viking Venus. All Viking ocean ships are very similar, so if you want the full longer tour, take a look at our video from 2018. Starting at the heart of the ship, the atrium is surrounded by three levels known as the living room. You'll find guest services, restaurant reservations and the shore excursions desk here. It's a wonderful space filled with live music and an even more impressive stairway.
On the other levels, there's loads of comfortable seating as well as interactive screens on the tables for playing games. You'll also find a small museum too. Back downstairs, let's take a look at the restaurant. This is the main dining room on board with beautiful panoramic windows all around. You can also see the full walk around promenade deck here. A great place to watch the ocean. It goes all the way around the ship, which is great. Manfredi's is the other alternative restaurant. This is the Italian restaurant. So excited to try this during our cruise. We had an incredible meal here on our last Viking cruise, so we can't wait to come back. And this is the chef's table. This is one of the other alternative dining restaurants and it's gorgeous. On our cruise, it features three different menus, including a great British menu, and they're all five courses and absolutely delicious. We cannot wait to eat in here again. Moving forward, you'll find several shops. So this is Tor's Haven, which is the nightclub. On a night, you'll find live music from the resident Viking band. They also do uh, gin and wine tasting in here as well during the day. And at the front of the ship is the Star Theatre, with five different shows and daily talks, there was plenty of great entertainment. Just below is the famous Liv Nordic Spa, featuring treatments and a hairdresser. There's also a large, well-equipped gym, bigger than some of the other ships. And the amazing thermal spa, which is included in the price of your cruise. It features hot tubs, a plunge pool, sauna, steam room, and even a snow grotto. Now let's head up to the top decks. So, so lovely, lots and lots of deck space. For the size of ship, there's so much room and so many sun lounges and places to relax. Up we go. Here at the front of the ship, you've got all the outdoor activities. So you've got the classics, such as shuffleboard. You've also got a bowling green as well with 10 pin bowling. Plus there's lots of seating areas, there's table tennis, and there's even a putting green as well, just around the other side. It's a lovely space up here, we like it. All the greenery, it tends to be quite quiet and people tend to come up here to read the book or play some of the games. Top tip as well is during sail aways when you're sailing away from somewhere particularly pretty, if you come up here you get a great view and because of the glass it blocks all the wind as well, so it's a great spot to come and watch some of the amazing sail aways. Wow, what a view. How fabulous is the infinity pool that goes off to the back of the ship. It's beautiful and it also has another hot tub as well. Around the pool area, there's loads of seating for the buffet so you can come and enjoy your breakfast, lunch or dinner out here as well. And there's also some more sun lounges and lots of comfy spaces. Connected to the aft deck is the buffet. The best buffet we've ever experienced, but more about that in an upcoming episode. There's a large bar and seating area towards the back with some amazing windows. More food and drink options can be found in the solarium. as well as movies under the stars and a large pool and hot tub with loads of comfortable seating and lounging options. Welcome to the Winter Garden. Now, don't let the name fool you. This is an all seasons garden. In here, you'll have lovely live music and afternoon tea every day at three. It's such a beautiful, relaxing space. It's possibly one of our favorite spots on the ship. 
During the day, it's a very quiet space as well, so you'll find people just chilling out, enjoying a coffee and reading a book. It's really nice. There's so many lovely places just to relax and sit, to find yourself a little nook and hide away in the corner. One of the great things as well is the beautiful windows that are all over the ship. You get great panoramic windows of the sea, which is fantastic when you're sailing, especially on some of the more pretty itineraries, such as the fjords. It's amazing sitting here and just taking in the scenery. At the front of the ship, you'll find the Explorer's Lounge and Mamson's Deli, offering lovely bites and treats throughout the day. There's a bar and panoramic windows all around. You can also access outside the front of the ship for some great views. Upstairs, the lounge continues offering loads of seating and more beautiful views. It's so relaxing. Okay, so back to the vlog where we enjoy our first evening on board. Feeling a little bit emotional. We're here on a cruise. We didn't have the greatest experience with MSC, so it's so fantastic to be back on Viking. We'll tell you all about it later on, but this wasn't much more expensive. Actually, if you add everything in, it's cheaper than MSC. We got a bargain. We're here in sunny Portsmouth, the sun's out. Can't wait for sail away. Oh, I'm so happy, guys. I'm so, so happy. I'm so happy to be here. We're gonna relax, we're gonna chill. We're gonna really enjoy this one. That's what Viking's all about. Good food, good relaxation great destinations we've got so much stuff coming up so this is magic absolute magic it wasn't long until we were out at sea goodbye Portsmouth that's it guys we are all ready for our evening we are going to the main dining restaurant now we don't need any reservations and we're really excited because we're hungry aren't we yeah I had a sneak peek at the menu it looks fabulous so come along with us and we'll show you what it's all like let's go so I've came down to the restaurant, which is the main dining room on the ship, and there's no reservations needed. We've got a table straight away, nice quiet spot at the back. Fab menu. The menu's gigantic. There is so much to choose from. One side is the classics, which are always available every night, and the other side is a menu that changes every evening. So I'm going to have a peruse, as they say, have a look through, and then pick out what we want. And the crew have been amazing as well. All the crew have been lovely, welcoming. All the servers have been fab, really good. So I've picked what I'm gonna have. Oh my gosh, you know how much I love food. So this is so exciting for me. I'm gonna have the three onion soup to start with, then the traditional beef wellington. It sounds delicious. There's some really nice desserts, carrot cake, chocolate souffle, maple pecan bread pudding. It's gotta be the bread pudding and the bread's just been brought out and the yes. bread is amazing they've got cornbread with pieces of jalapeno in it oh my gosh mind blown i'm gonna eat now so let me get a piece of that it looks like a muffin and it looks delicious but let's have a quick taste oh spicy to the bread gods they are shining down on this bread right now and saying you are the best piece of bread ever made it's delicious so i think I'm going to order... See, but I, that's bread, not a cigar. Oh. So, I think I'm going to order the Oysters Rockefeller, because that just sounds awesome. And then, I'm not too sure on my main, I'm probably going to go for the um, some the fish one, so the uh, Oriental-style scallops and lobster. Sounds very, very nice. Dessert, chocolate souffle with a Bailey's coffee sauce. Sounds oh. delish. Treat yourself. Oh, bam. It's a revelation. It's delicious, isn't it? This has changed my life forever. The jalapeno bread. It's like a jalapeno cornbread. It's like half muffin, half bread. Winner. Oh, it's delicious. It's, oh. See you later. You're taking it home? Yeah. <laughs> that is so good. Ooh, David got the oysters. Wow, 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 wow. How pretty do these look? Not pretty at all. 
really. Oh, I think they look really nice. I'm very excited. Try um, one. At the same time, I'm very jealous of what Ben's got as well. Wait, should I try one? Oh, they're delicious. I love oysters, Rockefeller. They're so nice. Yes, mine does look very nice, doesn't it? So it's French onion soup and it's got a lot of cheese on top. This is one of my favourites, so I'm going to go in there and taste it. Very sorry if this is very graphic, but there's only one way to do French onion. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at that cheese. Lots of cheese, let me taste it. If there was a Nobel Peace Prize for vegetables, this onion would win it. It's absolutely sweet, savoury, you're malicious. Honestly, oh, it's so powerful. It's absolutely delicious. Lovely, mushy bread and cheese and stringy cheese and goodness and heaven and I love you. Ben, I'm literally salivating over here. I have serious food envy. Oh, so good, guys. Amazing food so far. Oh. Speech. Speech. Um, I got the scallops with the lobster pasta Asian style. It looks delicious. It looks so pretty. I don't want to destroy it. He says as he's like destroying it to put it in his mouth. Delicious. Really good. Lovely. And I've got the beef wellington, which is lovely. It comes with some lovely, beautiful vegetables, really good colours, and the potato little pie thing in the bob. So I'm going to tuck in and try the beef. Got it medium. Oh, well, it's cutting like butter, so that's a good sign for me. It's got some gravy on there as well, which is delicious. Let's have a taste, because I like beef wellington. It's delicious. Oh, right, let's go. It's like butter. It honestly is. Really flavoursome. Absolutely fabulous. Everything you want in a beef wellington. All the other cows want to be this piece of beef. Delicious. Wow. This is jai bloody enormous. This is probably the biggest souffle I have ever seen. I'm gonna to have to tuck in. Oh, oh, it's uh, soft, delicate. I've just slapped it all over the plate by accident. Oh, 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 oh. that's got a kick to it. That's really good. I think I'm just gonna drink the Bailey sauce. If smell o vision was a thing, you guys would be in heaven. This smells delicious, the maple syrup. You can smell it all the way if you're in Canada. Absolutely delicious. So I've got the bread and butter pudding. It's got loads of maple syrup and deliciousness and gelato. Oh my God, and cream. I'm about to die and go to heaven. You better be as good as you smell. Oh my God. Crunchy from the nuts. Salty as well. Creamy sweet. Honestly, faultless. It's absolutely delicious. The little berries as well are, are like a, a pop of sourness as well. So it counteracts the sweetness. Beautiful. Just absolutely wonderful. Everything you want in a dessert. I'm a very happy man. You know what, lovely people of YouTube? I really, really hope you appreciate what we do for you. You know that I have just ate that whole thing just for you. Completely and utterly for research purposes. I wouldn't normally eat this at all. I'm, li I'm, I'm forcing, forcing myself to eat this for you. Mm. Wow, that sunset is incredible. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Don't think I've seen a sunset this good since maybe the Caribbean or the Norwegian fjords. That's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, guys. Spectacular, isn't it? Yeah. Now I remember why I like cruising. Me too. Honestly, because there's nothing better than this. Perfect weather, perfect sunset. Had a fab meal, feel very relaxed from out here. Honestly, perfect cruise so far. I did nearly just slip down the... Uh, <laughs> I know you did. Did you see that? Didn't want to say anything. <laughs> did nearly break my, uh, my back. <laughs> We then go to one of the very interesting talks in the theatre, then for a cheeky nightcap in the Tours Haven Lounge. Ah, so that's it, we're back in the room. We've had such a fantastic time. The band in Torhazem, 
Oshaven. Oshaven. They were fantastic live. I think they were on our cruise on the in yeah, Norway. I, I think there was. I recognise their voice because they have amazing voices. They're really good singers. Such good entertainment. So we're going to go to bed now because we're so tired. We've had such a long and lovely day. Thank you so much for joining us. Please hit that subscribe button and press the like button if you like this video. It really helps us out. And thank you as well to all of our patrons. You guys are amazing. It's because of your support that we're able to self-fund trips just like this one. And in return, and you get lots of extras such as our monthly zoom chat which is lots of fun so that's it till next time happy, happy cruising. cruising we'll just whack you in the head sorry it doesn't matter <laughs> didn't feel it right bedtime i'm night tired night. good night